Good evening. Tonight's devotion comes from Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. On that day when the evening come, had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him and with him in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We know and believe that God loves us and that in Christ he gives us peace. But when tragedy strikes, when we are filled with grief and fear, we may forget Peace. Is that possible, we think? Certainly not now. Maybe not ever. The disciples knew about Jesus' peace and power. That is, they knew until they forgot about it. After a day of teaching and healing, Jesus and his disciples crossed the Sea of Galilee. In a sudden storm, the wind howled around them and the boat took on water. Psalm 107 describes a similar scene. They mounted up to heaven. They went down to the depths. Their courage melted away in their evil plight. They reeled and staggered like drunken men and were at their wit's end. Where was Jesus? Why didn't he rescue them? Jesus was there all along, sound asleep in the back of the boat. The disciples woke him and asked the frantic question we might have asked, We're going to die, don't you care? Jesus woke and commanded the wind and the water, Peace, be still, the psalm continues. When they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress, he made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet, and he brought them to their desired heaven or haven. Jesus cared, and he was right there with them in the storm with his disciples. We also ask Jesus, do you care? Where are you? The answer is the same for us as it was for the disciples. Jesus cares. He is with us in our storm-tossed boat of terror and grief. As the frightened disciples search for their sleeping Lord, we search for him too in desperate prayer. Jesus is present with us. He is in command of the storms that threaten us. Peace is found in Jesus. The storm happened, the disciples' boat filled. Jesus didn't turn back the clock and undo the storm. In terrified, desperate prayer, the disciples found him. And, as the psalmist said, he brought them to their desired haven. Jesus spoke his word of peace and brought his frightened disciples to a place of peace and safety. Peace I leave with you, Jesus said. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid, we hear Jesus say in John 14. Worldly peace depends on circumstances, or rather the absence of those circumstances. No war, no storms, no illness, no pandemic, no unrest like we're experiencing now. Jesus' peace is not found in the right set of events. His peace is found in His forgiveness, His power, His presence, right here, right now, wherever we are. However frightening the events that surround us, He will speak to us in His Word, and by, by His Spirit grant us His peace. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, You rescued Your disciples in the threatening storm. Be present with us in every storm of life that frightens us. When we call to you, hear our prayers. Forgive our sins, and through your word and your holy supper, fill us with the peace that you alone can give. Amen.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Good night. God bless.